In the previous lesson, you were introduced to the two null value types that you encounter in Python. In this lesson, you will assign null values to the missing values in the dataset. Missing values in a dataset aren't usually left unfilled. They are filled with dummy values like na, hyphen, or period, etc. In this lesson, you will learn to detect such missing values as well as replace them with nan. Let's use the college dataset, which contains various details of college students as an example. We'll load the data using pd.readcsv of college.csv. The first step in analyzing the dataset is to read and print a snippet of the dataset. We'll print the head of the college data frame. Find that all columns have float values. If you observe clearly, you can see that a few data points are filled with a period. This suggests that missing values might be represented by a period. However, we can confirm this only through further analysis. We'll use the info method to get a gist of the data set. Hey, something's odd here. All the columns except private are of object type, although they are supposed to be float. We can further explore and confirm by finding the unique values in one of the columns. This way, we can find any non-numerical values. Let's apply the unique method on the column CSAT and sort them using np.sort. From the output, you can clearly observe that period is the only string value present. Hence, we need to replace it with nan. This can be simply achieved while loading the data set to a data frame. You can use the argument na underscore values in pd.readcsv to specify the values for missing data. If you again check the info of college, you'll find that all the columns are now float64 type. This is great. Now, let's consider another data set to detect hidden missing values. We will use the Pima Indian's diabetes dataset, which contains various clinical diagnostic information of the patients from the Pima community. While loading the dataset, we can observe NAN values for missing data when you print the head of the data frame. As before, let's print the info of the college data frame. They're all float or in type as expected. Further, we can analyze using the describe method on the diabetes data frame. Observe closely. Something very odd here is that the PMI column has a minimum value of zero. But we are aware that BMI cannot be zero. Hence, the zeros must rather be missing values in disguise. To confirm the same, we can filter all the rows where BMI is zero. There are 11 rows which have BMI as zero. They must be missing values. These types of missing values can be tricky as they require some level of domain knowledge. We'll replace these 11 rows of BMI column with NAN and check again using np.isNAN of diabetes.bmi. Great. Now that we have successfully removed the hidden missing values and replaced them with NANs, Let's summarize what we learned in this lesson. We learned to detect missing value characters like period, detect the inherent missing values within the data like zero, and replace them with nans. In the next lesson, you'll dig deeper into analyzing the missing